Hello friends. Today we are going to learn about the topic event ordering, which is an important topic in synchronization. Event ordering for computer even one millisecond of the time is recognizable amount. So keeping the clock synchronized within five to ten millisecond is expensive task. Lamport observed. It is not necessary to keep clock synchronized in distributed system. It is sufficient to keep all events be totally ordered. For partial ordering of the events, Lamport defined a new relation called happened before relation. Happened before relation denoted by forward arrow on a set of events satisfies following conditions. If A and B are two events in the same process, and A occurs before B, then A happened before B. If A is event of sending a message by one process and B is event of receipt of same message by another process, then A happened before B. It follows the law of casualty. Here, propagation time from sender to receiver is always positive. If A happened before B, and B happened before C, then A happened before C. Happened before relation follows transitive relation. A happened before A is not possible. Therefore, happened before relation is irreflexive partial ordering. Happened before relation continue. There are two types of events, casual events and concurrent events. Casual events are those where happen before relation exist and concurrent events are those where it does not exist let's see an example here e10 and e11 are said to be casual events because e10 happened before e11 and e12 and e20 are said to be concurrent events because there is no happen before relationship between them. Logical clocks concept for determining the event A occur before B needs a common clock or set of perfectly synchronized clocks. Neither of these are available. The logical clock concept is to associate a timestamp with each system event. Each process PI has a clock CI and assigned a number ci of a to any event in the in that process in fact logical clocks implemented by counters with no actual timing mechanism happen before relation should be ordered using these clocks so that logical clocks must satisfy the following condition for any two events a and b if a happen before b then c of a less than c of b Implementation of logical clocks Happen before algorithm with logical clocks must follow following conditions. So there are three conditions. First, if A and B are two events with the same process PI and A occurs before B, then CI of A less than CJ of B. Second, if A is the sending message by process PI and B is the receipt of that message by process PJ, then ci of a less than cj of b third a clock ci associated with the process pi must always go forward never backward that is correction to time of a logical clock must always be made by adding a positive value to the clock never by subtracting the value implementation of logical clocks continues to meet conditions C1, C2 and C3, Lamport used the following implementation rules. So there are two implementation rules. First, each process PI increments CI between two successive events. Second, if PI sending a message M by an event A and the message M contains a timestamp TM equal to CI of A and other process PJ receives this message CI of A and if ci of a is greater than and equal to its present value 
then say i of a value updated on it with plus one increment otherwise cj present value continues implementation of logical clocks by using counters two processes p1 and p2 each have counters c1 and c2 counters act like logical clocks message having the incremented value of counter that is sent by p1 on the other side p2 receives this message and instead of simple increment of its counter a check is made check is if the incremented counter value of p2 is less than or equal to the timestamp in the received message from p1 if c2 less than or equal to c1 example 3 less than or equal to 4 c2 will be updated with plus 1 here is the example pause the video and see implementation of logical clocks by using physical clocks each process has a physical clock associated with it each clock run at constant rate however the rate at which different clocks run are different when clock of process p1 has ticked 10 times the clock of process p2 has ticked only 8 times if the incremented counter value of p2 is less than or equal to the timestamp in the received message if c2 less than or equal to c1 example 56 less than or equal to 60 c2 will be updated with plus 1 increment here is the diagram for last example lastly total ordering of events happened before has only partial ordering and not full ordering two events a or b not related by happened before if same timestamps are associated with them p2 and p1 and p2 clocks are same for example 100 nothing can be said about the order because additional information is required lamport proposed total ordering of processes he used process identity numbers timestamp associated with them will be 100.001 and 100.002 here process identity numbers of pro processes p1 and p2 are 001 and 002 thank you for your time